I'm Erin. I'm Joe. And we're the Bacon's Rebellion. And this is the Grasshopper Band. Come on, let's show ya. So one of the things that I had to have in our van, despite this small size of it, was a big fridge. So people come in and they're like, are you kidding? You have this giant fridge. <laughs> Most people have like this much space, you know, but I was like, yeah, this, this was my non-negotiable. The bed being front to back was Joe's non-negotiable non because he's six foot two. So he needed to be comfortable. He needed to be able to stand up and he needed to be able to sleep in his bed comfortably. And I wanted this and I wanted a nice deep sink. So we made everything ourselves. My uncle had a wood, wood shop and we were able to just use all of his equipment. We made this olive slab and Joe likes to tell everyone that I, I have to cook. So everything was built around the size of the oven. <laughs> so we got a nice little storage drawer that comes out really deep for long things. This is the water cabinet. So we've got the heater and the water heater and our gray water and lots of extra little storage under there and a nice deep sink. And we really like copper and we had some copper foil left over from a project on our house that we sold last summer. And so we use that as the backsplash um, and we have tons of storage up here. It's pretty empty right now because we're actually selling it. Um, but there's lots of storage for pantry and over there there's more storage for clothes. And so this is our closet. It's pretty big. <laughs> we actually um, designed this table to kind of fold out in a couple different ways, but it's pretty fun. It gives me a little extra counter space. Under here is our bathroom. We just keep a little potty in there. Slide it out. Slide it back in. Easy peasy. Got a little drawer and another cubby for storage. And it's just been so much fun to cook in here. I love it. So we built this out in the early part of 2020 and then the pandemic hit and we were like, well, we're, we're in it. It's fine. We're going to travel anyway. So we've been living and traveling in it full time ever since. So almost two and a half years. And we, um, we love it. We're doubling down on this life. We went, we went on a six week epic road trip back in 2015. And on the way home from that, we were just like, this is life for us. We do not want to go home and live that white picket fence life anymore. So it took five years to make lots of little baby steps to get us here, but we did it. And now it's been two and a half years on the road and we love it. <laughs> right, welcome to the living room bedroom section of our van. <laughs> I don't fit sideways, so we couldn't really do the platform bed uh, the way most vans do. So you have to do the bed long ways. And you, the, in the decision of putting it in the front or the back, we realized that we could put the driver's seat forward and shove extra cushions in there and get a little bit of extra headroom. And that way she can have more kitchen in the back. And this is also the view out the side door. You know, usually if you park at the beach, this is the way you want to see. It works out great. So it can be a couch or you can pull it out into the bed. It's, it's just the Ikea slat. And I actually made it so that the back cushion has a bit of an angle to it. So it's the width of a full size bed the length of a queen and then that section can actually be the length of a king if you're if you're taller so actually these are mounted this way uh, these cabinets are mounted this way so you can use this surface when you're searching for things it's a little bit tall for my wife so she w mounted her cupboards the other direction so i keep all of my stuff up here and these uh, hinges actually work pretty good for holding the cabinets up whether they're this way or that way and then I made these cupboards so that they actually drop and create a shelf as well sometimes when you're laying in bed you want to watch your laptop or your iPad and you can set that there rather than fumbling in your lap but I rig this whole section for uh, HDMI cables to string across here so you can have your uh, TV on this side it's it's ready to be mounted in this section we actually uh, realized after a couple years of van life that it's not as solitary of a lifestyle as you would think you do van gatherings and meetups all the time mm -hmm. 
and my wife loves to entertain and cook and she's a chef and we built this van small and stealthy thinking that we would be hermits but we weren't <laughs> so we needed a bigger vehicle so we bought a box van and we're in the process of building that out yep. and we're selling our old rig yep. yeah what you want to do is have all kinds of storage and hooks uh, you know just where you can hang as many things as possible so we actually had a camp kitchen in here for a while we had a futon in here and some of the camping gear stuck around but this came from the camp kitchen and so we repurposed that i usually keep all my hats up here i wear a lot of hats <laughs> the vent fan uh th that's the max fan everybody usually has the max fan it has 10 speeds and it, 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 uh, it blows in or out. And so with the extra windows, you get really good cross ventilation and can blow out. And then I also picked up the little mat that we just shove in here and cover that up if we don't want to use that and it helps to black it out. So what you want to do is create a thermal barrier um, as well as a visual barrier between the cab and, and, and the, the living area. Um, we actually have the air conditioner that vents into the cab and then out the window. And then we also put our dog bed here. So when we drive, the curtains go this way and the dog gets to watch the road. And then when we sleep, we, we put a, a barrier this direction. So he's sleeping with us on this side. <laughs> okay, yeah, so I have a control panel here. This is, this is where the Max Fan remote is. Yeah, so basically you want to try to find an accessible area where you control all your lights and fans and, you know, your master switches. So we have this area here and then we also have the area down here behind the bed that has a couple switches as well. So all of our electronics, our solar system is Renogy. So we have two 170 amp hour lithium iron batteries. So that's a total of 340 uh, amp hours on our, on our batteries. And then we have the 3000 watt inverter. Um, we also have the DC to DC charger. So we not only can charge from the solar panels, but we can also charge while, while we drive. And there's a switch here in the panel that allows you to shut that off if you don't want to charge from, from the car engine. We are glad that we started with this van because it, it was an easy transition from a normal car and city life and it par parks in any parking spot. But um, just after two and a half years on the road, we realized that we're, we're not usually alone. We, we love to go to gatherings and we want to have people over and the weather outside doesn't always cooperate with us having big gatherings outside. So it's, it's nice to be able to invite friends in and share a meal and this van just doesn't have a ton of space for that but it would be great for a single or a couple that just want to take it out on the road for the summer or for a weekend here or there. I think it'd be awesome. Yeah, it's the, it's the shortest of the high roofs mm -hmm. and we just took the space and we actually put camping gear, we had a futon in and it slowly evolved and mm -hmm. became what it is over a year mm -hmm. of going out and having excursions and trying out the locations mm -hmm. and building in things slowly over like weekend uh, or a week or two here and there mm -hmm. when we decided yeah this is the perfect location for the things that we put in here so when we bought the van it was just a cargo van there were no windows or anything so we we added the windows in the door and the in the two bunk windows it did have the rear windows but we went with the ama because they're windowless frameless uh, like the like the stock windows. So we we added the step rails and there's one on the driver's side as well But really the difference in our van is the fact that I mounted the solar panels on top of the rack and then that way you get The full solar panel array. So we have three 300 watt panels Which is a total of 900 watts on the roof and then those articulate, you can lift them up and, and there's full storage underneath and you can fit uh, eight inch bins. 
which keep extra things, our, our winter clothes, our tools, things like that, as well as you can put the camping gear up there. You know, you, you want to have multiple use for, for things on, on small vehicles. So in actuality, the panels are a lid to our storage. It's a bonus that they actually produce electricity and they can articulate to, to catch the angle of the sun. So the ProMaster has pretty deep cavities underneath the van, so we were able to fit two 12-gallon tanks, so there's 24-gallon capacity. And then I have the quick fill right here on the, on the step rail. So we're on Instagram and we're on Facebook. We're at the Bacon's Rebellion because we're the Bacon's and we're, you know, rebelling against the typical picket fence life, I guess. Um, and yeah, just touch base with us there. We're very accessible. I love to share everything about our journeys on social media. It's a lot of fun to connect with the community. And, I, and that has been really what this has ended up being all about for us. Like I said, we really like the gatherings and we look forward to traveling, maybe caravanning down to Baja again, or maybe up to Alaska. We'd love to do Canada now that it's finally kind of open-ish. I, I think it's open, I don't know. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking forward to in the future in a slightly bigger rig. Yeah, if you're interested in the rig, uh, we'd love to meet with you and talk about it. You know, give us a, give us a call, you know meet with us on social media we, we'd love to hook up and show you the van thanks for coming guys thanks for coming in